Welcome back to Medina County, Texas GMRS. Today we are reviewing this BTEC very compact GMRS 20V2 mobile radio. Got a few other quick updates for you before we get into it. I'll see you in just a second. So before we get into the review of the 20V2, let me start by saying we've got these SDR USB dongles ready to give away once we hit 750 subscribers. I'm so excited to be able to announce that we're even close to 750. I never thought uh, that, that y'all that many of y'all would subscribe, so I think it's great, and I just want to show my appreciation by giving some things away when we hit the 750 mark, 1,000 mark, and then as we hit 2,000, 3,000, I'm going to give even more crap away just to show my appreciation back to you guys. Um, I've said it before, but all the great comments that you leave uh, is, is what keeps me going and everybody asking questions, so absolutely love it. Uh, the next thing I wanted to talk about was last weekend, uh, we were invited, a few of us from the GMRS group that we have here in Medina County, got invited to the local ham radio club's meeting uh, to, to go meet them. Uh, they were a uh, fun group, a welcoming group, and I can't say how much I appreciate all of them for accepting us in. Uh, we have a few of our guys working on their ham license as we speak. I will be starting mine soon. I've already decided I, I've got to do it. After meeting those guys and hearing all the cool things that they do, I think it would be uh, something I would enjoy on top of GMRS. So to show my appreciation for them, uh, I got with TID Radio and they have donated uh, one of the UV82s that I will be giving to the local ham club to raffle off during their get together uh, next month. Um, I just wanted to, to let them know how much I appreciate them and uh, show my support to them as well. So once again, guys, thank you for inviting us and uh, we look forward to hanging out with y'all for a long time. So let's get down to it. Time for the BTEC GMRS 20V2. Let's take a closer look. So out of the box, and you know I don't really do unboxing. Uh, you get the bracket. You get the bracket. You get the mount. The uh, the mounting hardware. You get a very well written out user manual. It is about. 60 pages long, very detailed as anything that you uh, typically get with BTEC. A um, lot of instructions and uh, everything you need, unlike some of the other radios you get. Um, you get this nice compact brain, I guess we'll call it, right? And then you actually have your control unit, which is your mic, all of your keys, push to talk. You have your buttons up here at the top that we'll go over. Um, so everything is, is very compact. They say it is waterproof. Um, I'm not testing it because this will be given away soon. Uh, so I, I don't, I don't want to chance it and not have a prize for somebody. Um, but let's get into the things I like and I don't like. So number one, very easy to mount right um it comes with a cigarette lighter plug it's plugged in over here you know what a cigarette lighter plug looks like you do have to use the btech software to program it now i guess all right we've got to pause the video for an update um first things first i am not into giving untruths disinformation or just flat out lies or wrong information so um, I had posted a video about the 20 v2 and I was never able to download uh, chirp to, to, to program this unit um, and I, I have some pictures I'm gonna put up here of the computer I have in the shack I have updated chirp from out here I I do have a bad internet connection out here in the shack and I think that's why 
I never got the the 20 v2 on chirp so I posted this video the other day with my comments about not being able to to use chirp to program it and I was wrong and so I I want to I pulled the video down, but I, I want to do a little update to, to let everybody know that some of the folks said, yes, you can. And so I went to my computer inside that I don't use to program radios, have a much better internet connection, updated Chirp in there, and I'll be damned, the, the 20V2 was on there. Um, so once again, I am I not looking to put out bad information or, or knock a product when, when if I'm not right, I'm, I'm going to correct it. So my apologies. Um, once again, still not my favorite radio. You'll find out more in a minute uh, that, that it's that it's not just for some other issues. It might be good for you, wasn't, wasn't good for me, um, but I am glad to know that it is Chirp programmable. And yes, I still think I'm a Chirp snob. Um, but hey, I just just want to be open and honest with everybody. And uh, okay, back to the video. Hope you like it. Uh, oh, we're almost to 750 subscribers, and I got all that stuff over there, the the four SDRs to give away. So watch till the end. You'll hear more about it. Hope everybody has a great Thanksgiving. Watch the rest of the video, and I'll see you later. Over the last couple of years, I have become a I don't know. I guess we'll call it a, a chirp snob. If, if you can't program it with Chirp, I really don't want to have anything to do with it. Um, currently, with all the radios I have, and probably uh, y'all as well, sorry, you're going to get my coffee. Um, I, the more radios I buy, it, it, I tend to have a lot more software programs uh, that, that, that I have to use to program these things. And it, I'm, I'm, I'm just getting to the point where I just want to be able to use one, right? Call me crazy, I don't know. I'm going to flash some pictures of the programming software up on the screen for you, kind of a close-up, zoomed in. Um, and it's it's not horrible to use, but here's the deal. 80% of my radios are on Chirp, and I can copy and paste most everything. You don't have that luxury with this BTEC software. Uh, you do have to go in and, and retype everything in. Um through the software, you can change the the colors of of the display, the different sections. You can change the colors. Um, it's you know almost like any other radio, except it's all in the palm of your hand. Some of the downfalls also that that I did not like is I typically take the mic and lay it over across the console in the car. And your speaker is in here, unless you hook up the external speaker, which not all of us have, right? But if, if you use this speaker and it's facing the other way, uh, sometimes the audio is can, can get a little bouncy depending on where you lay the mic. If you lay it face down, I did that accidentally one day and, and I didn't hear one of the guys calling for me on the air. Um, so I would probably recommend an external mic for this radio, um, especially if you're getting like me and hard of hearing. Um, I will tell you that you don't have any visible volume controls, okay? Your volume control, you have to open the squelch, so you have to listen to that, and at the same time, if you can hear me, you have to push the up-down button to turn the volume down. And then you've got to close the squelch and then your volume set. I would think with both of these function buttons up here at the top, why, is, why couldn't we just have one of them be straight up volume and then press and hold it to open the squelch? I don't know. I don't design radios, but it is something that is very annoying in my opinion. Let's see. Oh, when you press and hold it, it turns it off. Let's see. Let me turn it back on. I was trying to put the volume back up. There we go. So I want to take the volume back up to 50 because I'm hard of hearing.
So I have to do all that to get the, the volume where I want it to be. Um, I had been using the Redivis RA25 for the last many, many months in the car until I put this in there. One of the things that I noticed about this radio, I have the squelch set on one. On the Redivis, I have the squelch set on one. And the one thing about this radio is when I am, and I'll show you on the map, when I'm over at one of my local hangouts in San Antonio, I can transmit and receive on that Redivis all day long from that spot. I want to say it's probably 25 miles away. But when I'm on this, I can transmit but I don't get anything back. It's the same coax I use on the RA25. It's the same antenna I use on the RA25. So I don't know if something is more sensitive in this radio and it doesn't open the squelch, um, but I am just not thrilled with the receive capabilities that this has over a few of the other units that I've tried out in the car. I can tell you the QYT is no issue. Uh, both models, the uh, the 8900D and the 8900R, no issues receiving with either one of those. But this particular one, and once again, maybe one of y'all can explain it better than me. I don't know if the components are different. It's more sensitive, but did not have as good a luck with, with this one. Um, let's test the power on it. I'm I'm going to get you up on, let's see, sorry, all right, we're going to get you up on a high side, well, if I could do this without moving the camera, once again, middle set of, uh, middle set of numbers there, advertised to put out 20 watts, and we are kicking right at 18, all right, so let's do that again right at 18 on high power. Let me get you to one of the low power channels. All right, here you go on low power. You are getting just over, right, excuse me, right under seven watts. Let's do it again, just to make sure we're right. Yeah, that one's about six and a half. I get it. Some of y'all are going to say, well, you've got too much coax hooked up to that thing or whatever else you might want to say, but you could probably add a quarter of a watt or whatever to it. So it is kicking out about what it's advertised, um, which is, you know, I, I think good. Um, definitely much better than the uh, Redivis RT99, right? Advertised at 40 and it's kicking out about half that. So um, you're definitely getting the power. Um, and, and, and I will say, you know, I'm, I was able to get out with it, uh, from, from my normal spot in San Antonio, but could not receive. I wouldn't get the tail at the end of my transmission, uh, and nor could I hear any of the guys coming back to me, but they, they were telling me they could hear me fine. So thought that was very interesting. Um, overall, I, you know, if, if you're limited on space, if you want something you can hide, I think this would be a good unit. Um, I, you know, I, I just, for, it's not for me. Um, I, I like having the, uh, the, 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 the display on the radio. Um, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not knocking it. It just, and I really thought I was going to like it. Um, you know, as I get older, the display on the front of a radio gets harder to see. This one you can hold up, but I think where I struggled was having to lay the, the mic down in the other seat out of my way, or if I laid it upside down on my lap, I just wasn't getting all the, the, the audio that, that I'm accustomed to coming from the same spot and source, if that makes sense at all. Um, you know, the, the waterproof feature, I think if, if you're, uh, you know, if you're, if you're out in the in the uh, elements uh, on a tractor on a side by side, um, and you need communication. This is probably the way to go. Um, you know, I, I I don't think it's it's horrible. It's just not my cup of tea. 
Um, if you have any questions about this radio or, or think that I missed something, let me know. Um, I, I, on my scale, it, it's probably graded at about a 7.5 out of 10. Um, the cost of it, I think I paid right around $150 new in the box. Um, and, you know, is, is it worth it? Sure. Uh, especially if, it, like I said, if, if, if you are in a, you know, environment that, that, that that's exposed to the elements, this, this would be the way to go. Um, yeah. So let me know what you think. If you have one of these, give me your thoughts about it. Uh, I'm curious to see. Oh, I just noticed the little, uh, the couple of the feet have already popped off. I just had this sitting under the seat and a few of these little rubber feet have popped off. I'll have to go in the car and find those. Um, if you have one of these, post your comments about it. Let me know what you think. Um, once again, I, I, I hope I'm not knocking it too hard. It's just not, not my bag. Um, and I'm just interested to see what y'all have to say about it. I hope this video was helpful. If you have questions about the BTEC GMRS 20V2, let me know. I will be more than happy to answer them to the best of my ability. Um, let me know if you have one, what you think about it. Looking forward to hearing back from you. Thanks to everybody who has subscribed to the channel. I hope everybody's ready for the holiday season. I put a little survey up uh, on YouTube. It's, it's looking like everybody wants a mobile radio for... Uh, from Santa. So I hope you all get it and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. More videos to come and take a second to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video and have a great day.